Welcome to Tech Brothers with Dhamma. In this video, we are going to answer this question. What are the steps to create private endpoint in Azure Data Factory? So first of all, what is private endpoint and why do we need this? Um, uh, by using private link, uh, you can uh, connect uh, to the different platform as service deployed in Azure via a private endpoint. A private endpoint is a private IP address within a specified uh, virtual network and subnet. Uh, so uh, as uh, we will uh, create a private endpoint, uh, we will uh, use the managed uh, virtual network uh, in our uh, um, Azure Data Factory for our IER um, to communicate. Um. So you will uh, help uh, uh, protect your Azure resources from attack in public network because we are going to use the managed uh, uh, VNet uh, once uh, we create the private endpoints. Um. Also, you will let the network and data factory securely communicate with each other. Um. Okay, so that's uh, for more security and more um, uh, uh, privacy uh, of your data, you are going to be using a private endpoint. Um, so it will be more secure to communicate because it's going to use the virtual network so okay so let's uh, we know a little bit of understanding about the private endpoint and how we use it so when you create your azure data factory and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and right here and open our azure data factory and uh, first of all you are not going to see anything say, in private endpoint or all that here so go to the uh, manage here and then uh, you're going to see manage private endpoints uh, they are grayed out um, okay so what you need to do here you will be going to the hit new and uh, that's where you create the private uh, endpoint uh, before we do that uh, what we will do we will create uh, integration runtime uh, and i will create uh, manage the ir um, so i'm going to go ahead and say new and then uh, i will say azure as uh, self-hosted here and then azure is fine and once uh, i am here then i'm gonna uh, go to the region let's say east us is fine uh, right there is us and then i'm gonna go to the virtual network uh, if you notice here if i will leave everything as it is it's gonna create uh, the type of uh, azure ir for me once I go to manager, it's asking me, you want to do man virtual network con configuration? Yes, I would like to enable that. And then uh, I'm going to go and uh, create it. So now what will happen is going to create a managed IR. So this uh, IR will be using our virtual network uh, uh, to communicate between different sources. Okay, once uh, this is created, uh, see right here, now we have managed private endpoint uh, enabled. Uh, we should be able to create private endpoint. Uh, this initializing is going to take uh, maybe a minute or something. Uh. Now, as uh, you know that uh, uh, our question is uh, what are the steps to create uh, the private endpoint? Uh, so for the first step is uh, you will be creating a managed IR. Um, so once the managed IR is created, uh, then uh, you're going to go to the manage private endpoints. Uh, and here you will create private endpoint uh, to different sources. Um, let's say blob storage. Uh, I'm going to go, go to the blob storage and here I will select my subscription. Then I will select my account uh, storage account. So TechRes IT is a storage account. Now I will go ahead and create and uh, it will create a private endpoint. Um, now that's our second step. You will create private endpoint uh, for a specific uh, data set, uh, source uh, such as the blob storage or SQL or uh, whatever the other data sources available. You want to create the private endpoint. Uh, if you see right here is stuck in provisioning uh, once uh, you will see right here uh, azure blob uh, storage uh, is in uh, stuck in provisioning and we have went to the uh, our blob storage here and in the blob storage uh, we will go to the network you uh, know once uh, we go to network in here we'll go to private endpoint connections uh, and here we will see that uh, connection uh, pending uh, right there so what we have to do here we have to click here and say approve so and then we will provide some information uh, whatever the name or any information you want to provide and then uh, that will be it so now it is uh, approved and we will be able to communicate from our azure data factory by using a private endpoint so now if i will go ahead and refresh private endpoint here it says the provisioning successful so that's all you need to do three steps first step uh, you will create manage ir uh, and then uh, it will enable a uh, manage private endpoint tab uh, in your data factory second uh, you will create a uh, 
private endpoint in Azure Data Factory to specific source and then finally what you are going to do you are going to go to that source uh, such as blob storage or SQL and all that and you will go to the private endpoint connections and approve it and once it's approved then you are going to see the status uh, right here so still this is shown pending but it will be approved in uh, shortly okay so that's all you will do these are the three steps uh, to use a private endpoint in your data factory and this is how you're going to answer that question thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video